Hey everyone. So I wanted to chat with you guys really quickly on something that I just experienced. Um, and I think I'm going to do a series on the hard L's that I've taken. Um, so essentially I, um, just took a exam for my master's degree program, my second master's degree program that already tells you something. Um, and I sound really like excited and happy and like unbothered. Um, I failed, I failed my exam. I failed my, um, exam and it was very interesting because the three pre-test, pre-exams that I take, took in, I had taken, um, were, pa they passed. I was good to go. I actually improved every single time that I took them. So, you know, your girl was feeling real, real confident, real like, she's about to do some things. Like, she's about, to, I was like, you got this, Sam, you got this, Sam. Um... So those of you who don't know, I am actually in the midst of taking, um, of doing my degree, my master's degree in management and leadership at WGU, Western Governors University, online. And this is my second degree attempt um, with my master's degree, but this is also my, um, what is this? My second course. And the first course... We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. But I have experienced a situation which I experience very frequently in my life. I, I have a lot of failures. I have failed many, many times. And I don't think that most people understand that or they recognize that or they want to admit that. But I am not afraid to admit the times that I've failed. And I think it's important because of the fact that it, there's so many shame like feelings because of failure that I think is ridiculous because of the fact that a lot of people fail. It's not the end of the world. Um, you know, I'm actually on my computer now because I want to show you guys like I did in my social media, um, my attempts because I'm not making this up, people. I'm not kidding you. I literally took the pretest three times. I actually took it earlier this morning before I decided to take the exam, or not decided to take the exam, I scheduled the exam. So let me backtrack a little bit. I started my second course with WGU, which is Managing Human, human Capital. And in the second course, um, you are doing a exam of basically everything that you learn in the chapters. So I took the second course um, pre-exam just to see like where, where I was at, what, I, what did I need to like really learn? And um, I passed, but there was still some room for improvement. So I went ahead and I started studying a little bit to kind of see the areas that I needed to kind of touch up on and really like, you know, make work. So I did that and I took the test again. And I was like, okay, I passed and I met all the competencies. So I was good to go. Like, okay, at that point I felt confident. Like you can take the exam, no problem. So then I went ahead and I scheduled the exam for today, this morning at 1030. It is now 1146. And I was like, okay, let me take a pretest again, which is essentially is the exact same thing or very similar to what the exam will be. This is a different background. My arm's getting tired. Child, I can't do this. Um, this is exact, essentially what the exam will be. So it's the same 70, same questions, same X, Y, and Z. Anyways, um, so took that this morning, passed with flying colors, like flying. Okay, Sam is flying at this point, living her best life. So I'm feeling really good about that. I'm feeling like, okay, who go check me? Like this exam is going to be off the charts. So I get ready to take the exam. It's a monitored exam. Um, and I don't know, I think something changed with how I, um, my confidence level, not to say I was less confident, but I was more like aware that someone was watching me take the exam. I wasn't doing anything like outrageous or anything like that. You know, there's certain specifications with the exam, such as not speaking, making sure you're in a room alone. Um, you can't have anything around you. Now, mind you, in the pretest, I would take the exam and kind of refer back to the book, you know, which we could. I would refer back to the book. I would, um, you know, kind of just double check things that I knew was right, but I wasn't sure. 
So as I'm taking the exam, I'm noticing the, the questions obviously are not exactly. There are some that are pretty much the same, but just the wording is a little bit different or um, what they focus on is a little bit different than what I had seen in the past three pretests that I took. And so I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know, this isn't going the direction that I'm familiar with, but you know, I still powered through. Um, after I took the exam, I had like a, a somber feeling. There was no sense of victory, no sense of any, just curious as to what, you know, what I did. So went back and I checked my results and I saw that I did not pass the exam. And so it was a little bit discouraging because it just, you know, it brings you back to failure and what that looks like and what that feels like. Um, but I'm optimistic though, because this is not the first go around that I failed. So I'm kind of like, I wouldn't say used to it, but you know, um, accustomed to it uh, to, to an ex extent. Um, I will say that I like the opportunity to fail because now I can learn and now I can really process. So that's what I'm going through now is just processing everything. And it's weird because again, the stuff that I actually failed on, like it was stuff that I had exceeded in, you know, in, in the pretest. So I'm really, really feeling like the content was similarly the same, but familiar more or less, but, um, you know, it was more or less more geared towards the fact that I feel like I was being tested. Um, so I'm going to show you guys really quickly. If you guys can see that. Hopefully you can, you'll see the three attempts for my, my pretest, which I passed. And then this one that I didn't pass, Yes, I will be taking this over again. Um, yes, I will pass. And if I don't, I'll take it over again. <laughs> but I feel like this was a great opportunity for me to shed light on things that happen behind the scenes that a lot of people don't talk about, like I said, or don't promote or, you know, discuss or don't, aren't honest about it. Um, you know, they talk about new car, new house, you know, new life. And I'm like, dang, man, like, I want a house. Like, I've been trying to buy a house for... <clears throat> excuse me, I've been trying to buy a house for eight years. It's not because I didn't have a credit score. It's not because I didn't have the money. There was all different reasons why it didn't align. You know, one time I didn't have the credit score. Then I got the credit score. Then I didn't have the money. Then I got the money. Then I then, then the market and the way that it is now. So it's so many different things. But anyways, it's not about buying a house here. This is about me failing this exam. Um... It's a learning experience for me in the sense that it's an L, but it's a learning experience. It's, some, it's a lesson. It is something that I will now, again, process, reevaluate. I have the support of my family and friends, um, the support of my advisor, who I'm going to connect with today. We have a scheduled um, conversation to kind of figure out where could we work together to make me, you know, get through this. I'm not opposed to failure. I'm not a stranger to it at any in any way, shape, or form, and I'm going to continue to, you know, do my my work, and I'm going to continue to um, to evolve, so I just want to let you guys know that it does exist. I experience it. Um, for those of you who are experiencing some sort of form of failure, you know, please, please do, don't give up. You know, learn from it, evolve from it, grow from it, and, you know, keep going because something good is going to come from it. All right, guys, until my next video. Bye.